From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Be sure to join me for my first official live chat on YouTube. It's coming up this Saturday, May 6, 3 p.m. Central Time. That's 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. We'll do a Q&A, I'll have a giveaway or two, and I might even tell a weird darkness story during the broadcast. That's this coming Saturday, May 6. I hope you can join me. And you can find the YouTube channel for the live chat by visiting DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Johnny Depp made a surprise appearance at Disneyland this week, heading to the Pirates of the Caribbean ride dressed as Captain Jack Sparrow. Uh, Depp surprised guests as they rode by in their boats. It kind of backfired, though, because some parents kept saying, ''Hey, look, kids, it's Caitlyn Jenner!'' Kim Kardashian is now on a Mexican vacation. And I repeat my often-asked question, ''Vacation from what?'' A 12-year-old boy attempting to drive across Australia by himself drove more than 800 miles before police caught up with him. Apparently, it takes a long time for Australian parents to realize that their kids are missing or their cars have been stolen. A woman gave birth to a baby while visiting a zoo in Nebraska. Ironically, the giraffes were watching her. In Bath Township, Ohio, 20-year-old Joseph Murphy called 911 and said that he needed a police dog. Well, when the dispatcher asked why, Murphy said, "...she stole heroin from me!" So yeah, the, the police showed up and body cameras show officers questioning Murphy. On the video, Murphy can be heard explaining that a woman stole money from him, but the officers they wanted to know about the heroin that he mentioned on the emergency call. Well, a short time later, officers were surprised when Murphy pulled a brown, waxy substance from his pants. We'll let you guess what that was. Police seized the substance, and a felony drug possession charge is expected after test results are returned from Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigation. Incidentally, Murphy was also arrested for DUI after crashing a Mercedes with a blood alcohol level at 0.121. Murphy also made national headlines on New Year's Day, accused of urinating on a Florida trooper's leg during a disorderly conduct arrest on a Disney property. This is your brain on drugs. Any questions? The Turkish government has decided to block Wikipedia. So there are now millions of Turkish citizens walking around trying to remember the name of that actress in The Breakfast Club. What was her name again? In Goodyear, Arizona, 49-year-old Daryl Ingram was charged with child abuse because police say he used a stun gun on his son multiple times. Why? Well, the 11-year-old boy didn't do his homework. Yeah, I'm thinking there might be better ways to motivate your kid to do his homework. The Pittsburgh Pirates have cut the league's first Lithuanian player and replaced him with the first African. And the shouts of racism begin in 3, 2, 1. In a Silicon Valley parking lot, 41-year-old Jason Sylvain tackled a security robot allegedly drunk at the time. Uh, him, that is, not the robot. Mountain View Police Department spokesperson Katie Nelson said an employee for Nightscope detained Sylvain before officers got to the scene. The spokesperson added, "...when we arrived, we met with Sylvain, and as we were speaking with him, he appeared confused, had red, glassy eyes, and a strong odor of alcohol emitted from him." Locals weren't apparently eager to defend a fellow human for standing up to our robot overlords. Mountain View resident Eamon Callan said, "...I think this is a pretty pathetic incident. It shows how spineless the drunk guys in Silicon Valley really are because they attack a victim who doesn't even have any arms." <sighs> Getting sloppy drunk and tackling robots is no way to go through life, son. Kashmir has shut down all social networks for a month. That might work in Kashmir, but in this country, it is a surefire way to get people to finally leave the house … and begin looting. Martha Stewart has opened up an internet wine business. Apparently, she came up with the perfect recipe using the toilet while in prison. In an interview with Reuters on his first 100 days in office, President Trump says he misses driving, feels as if he is in a cocoon, and is surprised at how hard the job is surprised how hard his job is. We are in big trouble, people. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. 
and click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, please share this video with your friends. For more weird news anytime, visit DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!